Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for player ratings. I have James B with me. Uh, a five and a win to the Arsenal, so I'm expecting a nice, nice results for the uh, for the players today. Let's start with Aaron Ramsdale for you, James. Six, um, because he was good. Didn't have anything to do. Um, I think a couple of good saves. One one cross he claimed from a corner. Oh, that was it. That but was that's good. a good moment to just relieve pressure. Yeah. Is um, passing like, out the back as well today? Actually, good. Yeah, actually, that was good. Oh, that's a good point. I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a seven. I'll give him a seven because that was that, it, it was nice. He picked some really nice balls into midfield. Yeah, six sounds harsh. Yeah, yeah seven. seven, seven. <laughs> okay, sorry. But ultimately, it wasn't tested too much, and the Norwich press was wasn't really there. Um, so he, he did well. Yeah, I think that's fair, and it was quite for him. Let's go to um, Benjamin White at mm. right back. Um, White. Yeah. What would you, you give him? Uh, seven. Slotted in. Did well. Um, First half, I thought I had more of a battle in there, um, but did well. Yeah, he, he, he was again. He wasn't tested too much. The, the back four couldn't have done any more today, right. but they're not necessarily going to get tens because th they weren't asked massive questions from Norwich. They came. They were very good. They were professional, and I think they they did well enough to just allow the forward players to just enjoy their football mm -hmm. and not worry too much. Um, so yeah, a seven for ben Benjamin White. <laughs> Let's go to Rob Holden. I know mm. in, the, in your fan cam, you kind of just want to give him a little a word as well for his performance and honorary mention. Yeah, Rob Holden. Did very well. Um, if I've got one criticism, maybe the distribution, um, especially when he's looking for Saka over the top, but generally I thought did very well. Um, and you know the defence didn't look out of sorts considering we didn't have our first choice right back and centre back mm -hmm. you know that's two positions out of the four that have been rotated um, even though it's only White going to right back but I thought Holding was very good seven seven okay mm. one of our favourites Gabriel Magalhães is that how you pronounce it Magalhães yes our yeah, favourite our favourite Ma Magalhães yeah. Like that, yeah a favourite of ours yeah. um, what would you give him today uh, it feels harsh to give him more than I agree. the other two. I agree. Seven. But there's something about Gabriel. It's like, it's not even what he does. It's his aura. There's something about him. Like, there was one moment in that second half where it looked like they had like a two on one or a three on two. Yeah. But they were running at Gabriel. So you knew, ah, this is dealt with. Yeah. So a seven. Seven, yeah. Could be more. It could be. Uh, it's about, that might be the bias though in us. But, I think yeah, that might I be think, the bias. I, mean, I, just, I just love him. <laughs> yeah. I one point turned through the game and went, he's my favourite player, yeah, you know. No, you so, um, so yeah, I'll go with a seven because I don't, I, it feels harsh. I mean, if he's an eight, then maybe I bump the other two up. But yeah. no, I'll give him a seven. No, I think seven definitely. I think it's yeah. our bias that wants to push it to an eight. But let's go to um, Kieran Tierney got a goal mm -hmm. today. I had a really good game. What would what, you give Kieran Tierney? Nine for me. Because before okay. the goal, the amount he was intercepting, yep. he, he was... The, the press works when, yeah, they beat the first phase and then you go again. That's what Ben White's, Benjamin, I need to get used to that. It's, the, it's, it's, it's difficult, hard. isn't it? That's hard. I really think about White. That. <laughs> that's, what, that's what White does very well. Um, and Tierney just kept winning the ball, kept winning the ball back, maintaining the pressure. It means we go again. It means there's a degree of, what's that word I always use? Um, oh, I've lost the word. It, it's the same as tax is what okay. I'm trying to say yeah, okay. um, and he's a big part of that and then he gets a, a, you know, a great goal that basically great goal. wins us the game that, yeah. that killed it off so um, and, uh, no nine nine, nine. For Kieran nine. very yeah. high score there um, let's move to Thomas Partey now for me I still want to see more from him I'm not saying he had a bad game because he had a good game but no, I, know I, know you, what you mean. I know you looked at me and said Thomas Partey he had, he had a good game today but I still mm. want to see more but he had a good game but what do you give him um, I can imagine a lot of people feeling a six here, but I want to give him a seven because Played some really lovely passes into Xhaka, into Odegaard. Um, you know, as I said, I, I, I credit Xhaka and Odegaard for getting into those positions, mm -hmm. but they've got to be found. And I think Partey just, he knows how to find space for Gabriel and Wyatt and Holding right. just to find him and then transition us forward. It doesn't always look spectacular, mm -hmm. but it's really effective. Um, and then I thought, actually, he got taken off as he was finding his best rhythm in the right. game. Those last 10 minutes yeah, of, of yeah. his performance, it was some lovely touches, turning past players, and actually, do you know what? I'm probably being harsh. There were some moments that second half where he really showed his class. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we judge him by a different standard. You know, I'm going to give Xhaka a big rating in a sec, but if Xhaka had performed like that, maybe he's getting an eight or a nine. So okay, yeah. um, I thought Partey was very, was very good today again and maybe went under the radar for, for what he did and what he does generally. But he was very good. OK, so it was seven? Seven, seven. yeah, seven. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go to the person you just mentioned there. Granite Xhaka today for you, James. I'm going to give him an eight because um, I've really enjoyed his performance <laughs> today. And, and I've been critical in the past. I said that on my fan cam. But the pockets he picks up, yep. for number 10's doing that, we're getting excited about it. 
Would I call him to you, Granite Silver or yeah, yeah. Sesk <laughs> Jabragas? <Yes, yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> James said, give him the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying to, uh, to Stricter at the stands, but we have a Fabregas regen all these years, we didn't know. No, but he was, he was doing really well, getting in those pockets where creative players get into an... Yeah, he, he sort of lacks a little something when yeah. it gets to that final third, but... You know, he always, he's making the right decisions today. Um, you know, he, he picks up the yellow card for just stupidness, but he kept his head. Yep. He doesn't shy away from running up to the ref for the tackle, you know, two minutes later or even 30 seconds yep. later. He did that against Leeds too, I think. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he's wonderfully shameless, isn't he? But I love it. And he's you know, amazing passion. You know, when everyone's walking off after the celebration, he's, 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 he's like still there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's really important to a young side. So I've got to give him big credit today. I thought he was really good. Well, I give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. No, I'm, 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 I'm smiling at you because I'm happy yeah. you did. I think you've got to give him credit when, when he does well for the side. You've got to give, it, um, give him credit. And you're right, the, the cheering up the crowd. Yeah. Um, that yellow card he got, it's a bit silly. And then because the second time he went back into the other battle and was like, and yeah. Martin Ogo was like, get away, get yeah, away, yeah. you're on a yellow. But you know what, he had a really good game today. So big up Granite Xhaka. Let's yeah, go to Bakayo Saka, yeah. always up for it. But yeah, what do you give him? Yeah, nine. Um, Oh, Maybe if he gets the hat trick, it's a ten. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep these youngsters on their toes. Um, <laughs> no, he he was fantastic. You know, two crucial goals. The first sets us on, you know, sets the tone. Mm. The third, you know, confirms the three yeah. points. And um, and poor Brandon Williams had a nightmare of it today. Jacques, uh, I keep talking about Jacques. I'm obsessed with Jacques right now. Unbelievable. Who would have thought? Um, Saka, right foot, left foot. Um, he can go both ways. Yeah. He can go inside, outside, and big up I forgot who he was sitting next to but made a great point about how um, when we dropped deep he was often going to almost a right back right wing back and um, I don't know if they played it on AFTV but I sent a video to the guys saying look out for that because with White being the right back I wouldn't be surprised if we transition to a back three mm -hmm. and Saka plays the role he did at Stamford Bridge last season almost as a right wing back he dropped very deep to protect the team so he had to work incredibly hard as well uh, nine Nine, nine, and, and deserve for me mm. as well, I think. Let's go to Martin Odegaard mm -hmm. today, you know, a favour of ours. Um, mm -hmm. What would you give him today? Nine. Nine as well? Yeah, yeah, nine. Oh, I didn't see that one coming, OK. Is, th is that kind when, you know, obviously the two goals from Saka, the goal from Tierney, but Odegaard's touches in tight areas are superb. Mm. Two assists at the heart of the best football we played. Um, buzzy, just... Work ethic. I, I don't know. I'm, it's not the best analysis I've given you here. I just no. thought he was great. He I just thought he he was such a joy to watch. Mm -hmm. Like so enjoyable. Just connecting, uh, linking up with players. A few times you think all oh, the passes and on. Is he going to look after it? But he, he pulls off the one two, yeah. um, and he's enjoying his football. He's scoring goals. He's registering assists. He he was terrific. Yeah, and you spoke about him in the fan cam as well about his ball retention. Mm. So you got you, listen. It, mm. Odegaard was very good today. Let's go to Martinelli. Unfortunate mm. to not get a goal today, but yeah. another great performance from the kid. Um, what do you give him? An eight because his work ethic is summed up by um, you know the tackle he makes mm -hmm. um, wins us possession. We get the second goal. Um, he always looks a threat, he can go outside, inside, whenever he's running at a player, you back him to beat the man. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, an eight. An eight, okay. Yeah. Our captain today, Alexander Lacazette, um, what do you give him today? Obviously he got the penalty, he got the goal. Yeah, um, you know what Lacazette did really well today, that probably doesn't get noticed if you're watching it from home, is just when a bad pass was played, how he's getting into the players. Mm -hmm. And, and, and almost trying to lead. I think there was one moment at 2-0 up where Partey tried to play it over the top to Saka from a free kick. Yep. We lost possession. Lacazette was really getting into him. And I imagine, from what it looked like he was saying and gesturing, he was basically saying, keep it, yeah. you know, come on. Yeah. And, he's, and, and, and he's, he's doing that captain armband side of things. Yep. He looks after the ball brilliantly. Again, a bit like Odegaard, there's moments you think he's lost the ball mm -hmm. and he uses his body and he, and he, and he swivels and he's, he's got quicker feet than people give, it, give him credit for. Mm -hmm. um, and then he wins the header, the header, the penalty, doing what Lacazette does, does so well, yeah. which is getting his body there, going to ground. And, and, and <laughs> well, uh, to me, I don't know if you know, I was too busy celebrating the fact we got a penalty. <laughs> Lacazette was seven, seven okay, today. Okay, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll think with it. I think it would be harsh on the sevens. Um, Listen, they were all very good today. They're okay. all very good. It, just consider a seven a very good performance. Eight is great. Nine is outstanding. Ten is perfect. Okay. So there you go. He was very good today. Okay, let's go to the subs quick. Let's rattle mm. through them. So we saw um, Mohamed El Neni come on. Um, 
Six, five just feels a bit harsh. He was standard five, but he came in and, and kept things sticking, yeah. so six. Okay, Nicolas Pepe for you today, James. Yeah, I'll give him a six. There were some nice touches. I mean, I think we're all wanting him to have the big moment off the bench, and but I mean, he's a big part of Smith Rowe's goal. Yep. Um, I thought it was some nice one two, some link up play. Um, won a few headers, kept things sensible. Yeah, as, 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 you, you can come on in that kind of scenario and want to impress, end up doing stupid things yeah. and costing the flow yeah. of the team. But he, uh, he was fine, six. Okay, um, Emil Smith-Rowe, obviously, <laughs> come on, got his goal. You, you told me that, eight goals in the league now. Um, Arsenal's current yeah. top goal scorer. <sighs> He's flying, the kid. He is flying. Some nice moments, um, a seven. And the reason he's slightly better is because he gets the goal. But also just because it's a it's another goal yeah. off the bench. Yeah. And, like, that's really impressive. <laughs> it so, is. It is. Um, did he did he in terms of performance and display do any more than El Nenny and Pepe? No. no, but he gets the goal and so, had, the, had the least so. amount of time on the pitch as well off the bench That's as well. So yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm loving what he's doing. So big up Smith Rowe. Okay, mm. um, let's go to the referee for you today. Mm. Well, I kind of put referee yeah. and VAR together. Um, so the, offic the officials today uh, didn't upset me. So. Six. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> no, yeah, the ref was good. The, re the, the ref had good. You know, I thought I thought it was a penalty. Yeah. Um, I imagine Xhaka probably did deserve the yellow, yeah. uh, knowing Xhaka. I've just bigged him up, so don't get on me. Um, <laughs> and then, but actually, what I liked was there was a, a bit of a kerfuffle a minute or two later. Yeah. He's consistent, gives a yellow to their number eleven, whose yeah. name I forgot, pl yeah. Plaquetta or something. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Good. I, I think you're right there. I think he he's, he got in, into the game and yeah. gave out cards when it was needed before because it, it, it was going yeah. it was going away where it could have been very very yeah, vicious. Yeah, yeah. But he, he kept control of it. Yeah, he did. So, yeah. He did. Yeah. Let's let's um, go to Mikel Arteta mm -hmm. for you, James. What do you give him today? Got to give him a ten. Oh, okay, okay. Because I see, I see. I know, I know. Yeah, Turkish no, does this as well. I just want to just make sure everyone's on the set on the same wave. He didn't really get anything wrong today. You know, because five nil away from home, Boxing Day. Kept the players motivated, switched on. I like the subs. White, you know, there was a little bit yeah. of a change in two positions in defence and it was seamless. Um, you know, he's... It's not just Norwich being poor, he's telling Xhaka to get up the pitch more and, and have more of an influence going forward. And that is... That's him. That's yeah. his management. So, yeah. A 10. Uh, uh, yeah. No, it's I, just, I'm, I'm I not, I'm not questioning. Give, I didn't give any players a 10, but, I mean... He was good. And also, I, I wasn't watching him as much. He felt less animated. Yeah. I, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. He Was, was he, he still was, as animated? Yeah, he went in, when um, Martellini was on the floor injured, yeah. he went to the photo. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I meant more. Fair enough. Yeah, I meant more of the players. Like, yeah. maybe, maybe not. I don't know. No, I, I, I wasn't really watching. But, James, but, um, I think fair. I really yeah, do. 10. Yeah. He, he, five nil away from him in the Premier League. 10. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree, I think, as well. And what we saw today, it was really mm. enjoyable. There yeah. was great moments it was, in the game. It, was it really, really was. Enjoyable. It really yeah. was. So, fair play. I think Mikel Teta does deserve a 10. Let's go, lastly, to the fans. We've started some funny chants today. Really enjoyed it from the uh, from the you. Arsenal I fans believe, today. Yeah, yeah what would you give the fans uh, for today's performance? 10. Yeah. Never stopped singing. Gave it from minute one. Um, and you can see that they're on this ride with the players as well. It's really good to see. There's a real connection there. Um, long may it continue. Yeah. Long may this run continue, long may this momentum, long may staying in the top four continue. Mm -hmm. um, the fans were fantastic today. Yeah, they were. What was your, just quickly, I know I'm um, adding this on, what was your favourite chance there? Because I really like the Jingle Bells one. No, nah, yeah, Jingle Bells was good. <laughs> I don't think I can, I'm not allowed to sing some of my favourite ones because <laughs> <laughs> they were kind of funny. Yeah, but but um, yeah. no, um, yeah, probably that one. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're going it, it felt Christmassy. It, it did. Nice. That's what it was. I'm hearing my stupid red and white hat that's too small for me, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a nice Christmassy vibe to the day. So Perfect. And to finish off, your man of the match, James. Uh, so who would I give a nine to? Tierney, um, Tierney, Tierney Odegaard, yeah. Saka, Saka for the two crucial goals. But in terms of performance, all three of them were terrific. Perfect. And it could have been Marte. There's loads of great performances. Perfect. So yeah. Well, thank you for watching this player range. Let us know your player range in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. And we'll see you at the next game. Take care.